Welcome to Community America Ballpark. I'm Matt Folks, Director of Marine Relations, along with the head coach of the women's team at KU, Bonnie Hendrickson. And first off, just thanks for coming out. You threw a first pitch. As we record this, you're getting ready to do the uh, nice. seventh inning stretch. You ready for that? Well, I better sing a little bit better than I threw that <laughs> ball. So yeah, and we can't blame Richie Price from our baseball no. team. He tried to help me, but I didn't. I didn't get it done. So I have no coaching in the singing. So I'm on my own on this one. <laughs> So no, you didn't ask anybody and just, you know the words at least. I got the words in my pocket and I've, I knew the words, but you know, just like people that sing the anthem and they forget the words, so yeah. let's hope I don't forget. But I get an impression here they might help me. They will help They kind of get they involved will. in everything else, so I'm hoping Just the key me. is, remember to say, instead of home team, say T-Bones. Oh, well, I'm glad you told me that, so I'll work on Ooh. that too. Okay. <laughs> we got, uh, you got another inning or so. Okay, good. Okay, we'll good, good. That. okay. before we talk basketball. I mean, you grew up a baseball fan a little bit yep. up in Minnesota. Up in Minnesota a few years ago with, uh, of course, bandwagon Twins fan when they won it with Kirby Puckett, so I will say that. But I grew up with, you know, with Killebrew and Tony Oliva, and so we're going way, way back for people like, ooh, she's really that old. So, <laughs> But, yeah, I've enjoyed it. We we got to go to the old Met Stadium when I was younger. Not a lot, but a few times, but yeah, I enjoyed it. And it's beautiful here. I had no idea. I've heard it. I mean, I've heard about it, but I've never had a chance to go. Well, you need to come back then. I need to. It's beautiful. It's awesome. <laughs> So, you've just done remarkable things with the, the women's team at, at, at KU. And, I mean, Marion Washington, you know, really right. set it up. Absolutely. And then you've done a great job back-to-back -back Sweet 16 appearances. What's been the key for you these last two, three, four years? Well, we've, we've had great players. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, and any coach at any level will tell you that's how important that is. And we've been able to stay relatively healthy. I mean, we've, we've been dinged up a little bit. But that's part of the game. That's part of athletics. And when that has happened, some kids have been able to step up and play really well. But we've had some special players the last couple of years. We've had Angel Goodrich, who's starting with the Tulsa Shock, mm -hmm. Carolyn Davis and Monica Engelman. That's, that was our senior class last year. All three of those young women will play professionally. All have graduated. So we, we've been able to attract great local talent. Natalie Knight from Olathe South. Mm -hmm. Danielle McCray, who's a phenomenal yeah. player for us, who plays in the league. Um, it was hurt this, this season, but um, from Olathe East. So that's been important in for, for us to kind of lock up everybody here. And then we've got to go out in, in different pockets and, and recruit talented players. And, and that's the most important piece for us. But right. what an unbelievable institution to sell. I mean, yeah. that, you know what I mean? Saying? <laughs> it's a, that's a pretty good, pretty good gig we've got. Now, what, uh, as you look ahead to this, this upcoming season, you, are you excited? You got some good talent? I am. We're, we have five freshmen, so my hair might not be exactly <laughs> this color for long. Um, but, no, we're, we've got five freshmen. We've got two returning starters. Natalie Knight is back mm -hmm. after an ACL tear, so she's healthy now. And, and that's, that's exciting. We've got some pieces to fill. Some players will have different roles. But that's exciting, and that's what they worked hard for. So it'll be, we'll be a work in progress. Got to enjoy the process. Right. Um, but we get started next week because we'll start school on Monday, so that's fun. And uh, I think the men's side has some work to do too, maybe. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, I got to sneak a peek this summer. They, they, you got, yeah, you know, he's gonna, you know, be able to like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you know, he's, yeah. It. But they're, they got a chance to be pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be really, really good. It's, <laughs> it's hard to believe it's been what nine, ten years now. Oh, I know. Starting my tenth. I know that's okay. why I said to someone the other day. That's hard to believe. But it's been, it's been, it's been fun. It's the most basketball crazy place I've ever lived and been in my life. And that, that's, you know, when you do this for a living, it doesn't get any better than that. And it's had challenges, but that's exciting. Uh, you know, the league is so good um, from an attendance standpoint, from a coaching standpoint, from a player standpoint. Uh, but that's what's, that what's it, it makes it an easier sell. It makes it harder to be successful. But it, when you're talking about selling and recruiting, those there's some awfully special things we have to offer. You've had uh, a lot of camps this summer. What yep. have you had any fun this summer at all? Oh yeah, no, 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 yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. No, no, you you got to take time when you can. There isn't a lot of time, but um, no, absolutely, and you got to have have find a little bit of a balance. But um, if I didn't find work to be fun, I wouldn't still be doing this for as long as I have. So um, I enjoy being around the players, and we'll get them back. Like I said, actually this weekend because we got a big golf tournament. But see, our rules change. We could actually work them out yeah. this summer. So it's great to spend that much time, especially since we had five freshmen. There you go. She's Bonnie Hendrickson. We gotta get her ready now for the uh, seventh inning stretch. Yeah, nice, huh? <laughs> yeah, how about that? Thanks for watching, and uh, go check out some KU games. This, Absolutely. This point. Please.